The call to being a prophetic singer or a prophetic musician is not the call to a particular location or a certain number of hours or even a certain way that it should look or feel. There should be a lifestyle of being a prophetic singer musician, even in your own home. Take the verse you were meditating on yesterday and make that what you sing through your day. Create new melodies as you're singing it. Take the prayer that's really on your heart and instead of just thinking about it or praying it with words, sing it to the Lord. Start singing your songs. We did something in Kansas City called Song Project where 46 of us wrote individual hope-filled songs for foster kids in our area with their name in it and we gave it to them and that was a way of us to prophesy over their lives. You have a Father in Heaven who loves you and you're accepted and desired and, and it was just a simple, practical way to step out as a prophetic singer into a different realm of life. I would say if you are feeling that tug in your heart that you want to be one who's, who's singing the Word of God, who's even joining with others in doing this, that you're called to it. It's just that simple. Taking it down a few notches and saying, if you have the desire, that's probably the Lord tugging on your heart. It's not like that's such a normal desire for someone to have. So start where you are. Don't feel like you immediately have to sell the house, uh, jump in your car and race to another city to do this. Start where you are. Start small. Be the prophetic singer um, in, the, in the secret place, you know, when you're driving in your car, when you're cleaning up the kitchen, whatever. Be the prophetic singer. See what what uh, prayer group you can join in your own city on weekends, nights, mornings, whatever, whenever it fits into your schedule, just start moving, start doing it. 